Welcome back to the Sunday Business Page. Imagine chilling a drink without ice or using a snowboard that comes in two pieces. Those are just two of the innovations designed by local students. The Carnegie Mellon University engineering seniors showed off their inventions that they've worked on all semester. Sarah Arbogas has a look. It looks like your average scooter, but look closer at the brakes. A team of mechanical engineering students from Carnegie Mellon University developed disc brakes for this ride. We definitely learned uh, first and foremost how like important teamwork is because um, we spent a whole semester, five of us, working on this project. From scooter brakes to this, a foldable snowboard. Typically, you have to use a roof rack on your car to carry a board, which increases a car's fuel consumption. This invention would eliminate that and make transport less of a hassle altogether. It's easier to carry. You can, uh, and you're on, a, on the mountain, you can take, take, take it in one hand each. Uh, so it'll be lighter in each hand. There's really a wide variety of products here. Check this out. It's a quiet door latch. Team members say with a few adjustments, they could actually see this being sold in stores like Home Depot or Lowe's. We saw that people are having trouble closing doors quietly when they come home at night. They don't want to wake up their loved ones. All of the teams are made up of seniors who have studied mechanical engineering for the past four years. They started these projects back in January with brainstorming. Once they came up with the ideas, they took off to design and then create. Experience that will be a big benefit in the workforce after graduation. And they've got a good education, they're creative, they're young, and they can think about uh, possibilities that maybe none of us have seen before, and they try to realize those. Sarah Arbogast, KDK TV News. Jeremy Mihalik, Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering at Carnegie Mellon University, and two CMU engineering students, Patrick White and Juan Shim, join us. Hey, gentlemen, welcome to the show. It's great to have you here, and congratulations. Uh, I think this is a wonderful, wonderful story. Jeremy, tell me about the, uh, the evolution of this. Uh, how does this happen? Oh, sure. So this is the senior capstone course for our mechanical engineers, and this is their chance to use some of their engineering skills and put them to work to make something new. They've spent four years learning fundamentals, and this is their chance to uh, take those fundamentals and apply them in a, a situation where they can innovate, create new products, new opportunities that could spin off into companies, create new jobs, etc. You know, Carnegie Mellon is well known for a lot of spin-offs, and uh, gentlemen, maybe you've got the right product. Uh, Patrick, tell me about yours. So what we were looking at is a way to actually chill a drink without having to use ice. Chill a drink without ice. Exactly. No ice required at all, no fridge, no freezer. Just chill it in one machine in less than five minutes. And what did you come up with? So what we use is something called the Peltier cell. It's actually a cell that uses electricity to make one side hot and one side cold. And we use this technology to actually chill our drinks. And how does it work? So what you do is you actually just put power running right through it. And if you want yeah. to feel it, you can feel how hot and cold it gets. All right, let's take a look at this. This is, you're using a battery. Yep, just a little nine volt battery can power this. And, and I'm uh, holding the battery right now. And let's see, one side of it, ooh. <gasps> One side's hot. Yeah, be careful, it might burn you. And one, one side, and the other's ice cold. Exactly. So how do you put this, you just put it in a drink, you're gonna have hot and cold. So what you do is you actually run water over the cold side of this, and that cold water ends up cooling your drink. Mm -hmm. Excellent, what a great idea. And uh, you, you've got one, uh, what's this doorknob of yours? We saw that in the story. <laughs> <laughs> so one of our main goals was to make uh, door latch quieter. So a problem people have with door latches is that the latch hits the frame and we want to eliminate that sound. So what we did was use the magnet as the pushing force and what that does is move this latch out like that and that's what causes the door to stay closed. And it's all quiet because it's magnetic? It's quiet because the latch never hits anything. It never touches anything. Right, so there's no sound to be created at all. Now, you think there's a market for, uh, well I'll ask you about your product first and I'm going to come back to you Patrick. Is there a market for this? Or do you just invent these things because they're kind of cool? I think we invented this as a challenge to ourselves. Most of the problems people have with door latches is security. And we found that there are plenty of solutions in the market already. So we thought we would innovate a new idea for people to enjoy. A quiet, a silent door. Yep. Which I could see uh, one of my teenagers wanting to use very much <laughs> when they come home late at night. I'm not sure I'm going to introduce that in my house. <laughs> I can what tell you a number of my friends have, uh, ha who have kids have said that they could really use a device like that. They could use a device like that. Well, we'll see. What about this ice uh, or this water cooler? 
Uh, you think there's a market there? Yeah, that's what we we're hoping for. I mean, it's something that I know as a college student, we don't have a lot of fridge space. It's really hard for us to get ice. So something that we could just plug into the wall and chill drinks whenever we want it would be ideal for us. And even then, we think there'd probably be a market for it for uh, professionals as well. Uh, Jeremy, as these students learn to make these things and to innovate, and these are fabulous ideas, uh, gentlemen, uh, is marketing all so part of this, uh, thinking about what is it that society needs? Mm -hmm. How does that work? Yeah, in fact, that's kind of central. So we know that our engineers need to touch good te solid technical education they're going to be building our bridges planes power plants and, and we need to, them to be able to make those decisions but we feel that's not enough these days we also right. need to make sure that they can think beyond that think creatively and innovate new solutions so they can be competitive globally right and so um, tell me your question again well the question is is the marketing side of this do they think about as a really develop these new products. That's right. So I one of the ways we address that is in the beginning of the class, the students will study an existing product. They'll take it apart to see how it right. works. They'll also watch people use them. They'll interview them. And they'll find out what the product does well and what it's missing. And then they use what's missing as opportunities that they can try to innovate. Yeah, I love it. Uh, Patrick and Juan, you're, you're both seniors. You're graduating in just a couple weeks, I guess, not too long from now. Where are you going next? Do you know what you're doing next, Patrick? I'm actually going to be returning to Carnegie Mellon for my master's degree in mechanical engineering. And then after that, I hope to get a job in the nuclear industry. In the nuclear industry? Well, I think you've got a, you've got a, a great basis <laughs> for that, I'll tell you. How about you, Juan? I'll be working full-time at Chrysler uh, um, as a vehicle engineer. Excellent, excellent. And you obviously have the skills for that, too. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, this is uh, great, uh, Jeremy, that you, you brought your students here. And I know for you, for every one of these guys, you've got a whole lot of others back at Carnegie Mellon University. Thank you all for being with us today. We appreciate it. We'll be back with a program note and more of the Sunday Business Page in just a few moments. Stick with us.